We're just about to measure her up. Oops, what is it? 80... 83. 83. Dead on 83, just a touch over. Wow. All right, put the fish grips back in. All right. Should be okay. okay. Yep. We only been a couple of, not even a minute. There she goes. <laughs> Not bad, Joey. <laughs> Not bad. And you brought me the luck. Welcome to the Fish Hayes Grill. And um, just spent three, four nights down here. Man, you guys, just just wait till you see the video. We, we caught some monster flathead. You know, I haven't even seen something like that before over the two days we caught three. You know, again, apologies for not um, not having anything for the past five weeks. Uh, we, we've done fishing, but we haven't caught nothing. And, um, you know, this is, this is <laughs> we had to come down because we know we catch fish here. And uh, no matter where we went, there was just, there was nothing on. Even even reading online and, and everybody else was having the same sort of issues. They weren't catching much. Anyway, guys, get excited. I'm excited. You guys are going to love these two episodes. Uh, the, the flathead, wow. Awesome, honestly, awesome. Uh, the big girls, we put them back in, so I don't think we, uh, we kept any of them. But yeah, tune in, hope you like. Guys, smash that like and subscribe button if, you, if you're liking the content that we're producing. Well, yeah, let's get started. All right, guys, we are on. Feels something very decent, huh? Yeah. Decent, all right. He thought he was snagged on a bit of seaweed and um, he was <laughs> dragging up dead weight yeah. and then it woke up and no, started actually, to take off. I actually thought I had a bit of wind on the line. I had a funny feeling. It's another... Uh, what, well, big flatty? Yeah. Could, could be. feel like yesterday the um this time i do have a 15 pound leader on I don't have any so yesterday we were here uh that, that'll be part one of the video uh we i caught a 83 centimeter flatty uh dad caught a 79 centimeter flatty and uh, this is what we're working with now. Looks like we've got another one. We'll say, we, we don't know what this one is, but that's the joys. Just gonna walk around and grab the net. It's a stingray. No. Oh no. Far out, it's another one, yeah. Looks like we've got another big croc. First fish of the morning and it's another big flatty. Yeah. Wonder how big this one's gonna go. Predictions, go. Um, Does it feel heavier than yesterday? It's it's up there? It's up there. I wanna see it first before I make an assumption. I say the high 
high 70s. I was just sitting on that again. Incredible. What were you using for bait? Um, pili? It was um, a piece of squid laced with pili, yeah. So we had a concoction of pili and yeah. squid. Size of this one. <laughs> he doesn't want to give up. Well, she doesn't want to give up. Alright. Bring him more this way if you can. Yeah. No? Just keep turning his head. You've gone from never catching a, a decent sized one yeah. to two in two days. Yeah. Unbelievable. Alright. <laughs> Take three. No, he's not. She's not giving up yet. Fire, this is nice. This is another. Bring it. Have a go with that. Wow. Heavy. Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> Landed this one. We'll measure it up and then uh, we're gonna just put this straight back in the water. Not a bad catch there. But... Wow, all right. We're just about to measure her up. Dead on 83, just a touch over. Wow. All right, put the fish grips back in. All right. Should be okay. okay. Yep. We only been a couple of, not even a minute. There she goes. <laughs> Not bad, Joey. <laughs> Not bad. Man, you brought me the luck. Wow. Okay, we're on. We've got something uh, nice on this one. Uh, this was on the pilly as well. This one feels a little bit dear. I don't think it's Trevally. Doesn't have that same. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I think it's a broom. Oh yeah, there he is. What is that? What is that? No, that's the stingray. Far up. Oh uh, well, what do you do? He's he swallowed the hook, so what we're gonna do is just cut it from here. That's it. As close to the mouth as possible. That's it. I think I'm gonna need some new leader. Alright, I'm on. Just put this one out. This one was just on the pilly. Oh, 
doesn't feel too big, whatever it is. Could be a decent Brim, Brimbo. Right, let's bring it around here. Oh, Trevally. And there we go. Oops. It's grunting at me. I'm just going to chuck this one back. And uh, looks like the other uh, bite's turning up a little bit, huh? So we've just decided to move spots because, um, you know, while yesterday it was firing, today wasn't um, wasn't really firing at all. Uh, we. We've only got a couple. We got the the you know the uh, the 80, 83 centimeter flatty at, at Trevally, uh, but it's just slowed right down. So we're just going to move spots, try somewhere else, and see how we go. Um, probably stay out for another couple of hours. I think low tide's going to be in about three hours or so. Um, so you know, we'll see what we can do, what we can find. And we're on again. Nothing big. So right, let's have a look and see what it is. That's a floody. Is it? Yeah. It's a decent one too. It's a nice size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, hang on. There you go. And we were talking about packing up and going home. And uh, the fish started to come on now, so got the net. Let's go. He's a uh, he's about forty. Yeah. He's still green. Woo! So <laughs> this is going good now. Once the fish come on, it's uh, you know. I guess that's why some people love fishing and some people don't like it, you know? But, um, no, this is turning out to be okay. Alright, we're on. This one feels like a nice brim, actually. Oh. You see? Unless he's running towards the boat. Uh, nah, he's not too big. Sorry, I've got it. Yep, we're on. Feels somewhat decent as well. I should come in on that. I don't know what this this feels like at all actually, I, don't, I have no idea. It's got really really weird head shakes on it. So I'm pretty sure it's a floody. Oh. Taylor. No, it's a brim. <laughs> That's a nice brim. Beautiful, that was on a pilchard as well. Very good. What do we got here? Uh, that's probably another brim. 
Not a, nothing to write home about, though, I think. Or is that a tailor? Tailor. Taylor, shall we uh, yeah, yeah. let it go? And that's it. And we're on again. Feel decent? Well, it did in the beginning, but I think it's just another. We've got another Taylor, is it? Yeah. And they're around. Um, He felt bigger than what he really is. All bark, no bite. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There okay. We go. Not bad, Joey. Not bad. <laughs> I think that's it. Um, we're going to head back shortly. Started to uh, drizzle on us, and um, we're still going to get the boat up give it a wash, start packing up, cleaning up uh, before we start heading back. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna finish up here and, and then head back and then do something with that broom. Now, after a long day of fishing, I know you don't want to come home to an overly complicated meal. So I'm keeping this one super simple, but it's something that's a bit close to my heart because it showcases the, my two, I guess, heritages or nationalities, and that is Lebanese and Australian. I'm making a baked fish with a tahini sauce, but not any tahini sauce. Here's where the Australian fusion comes in. I'm using lemon myrtle in my tahini sauce. Oh, if only you could smell it. This is insane. Just very, you know, lemony, delicious. It's herbaceous. Oh, can't wait to make it. Okay, the choice of veg that I'm gonna use with the fish is fennel, sweet potato, and carrot. Keeping this simple, so I'm just drizzling some extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper, and a bit of garlic just for extra flavor. All right, I'm just going to part the veg now to make way for the fish. Right, there's some oil at the base there, so I'm just gonna grab the fish whole. Right, I'm gonna drizzle a bit of extra oil and rub that all around. Have a look at these. I'm stuffing the fish with some lemon slices, some dill, parsley and guys do not throw the fennel stalks and fronds because we're using that to stuff the fish with. Bit of salt and pepper on the fish and off it goes to the oven. The best thing about this is it takes no time at all to prep. Straight in the oven for about 20 minutes or so depending on the size of your fish 
and that's gonna feed about at least two to three people. There really is nothing to making this tahini sauce. Uh, it's literally just some tahini, some garlic, lemon juice, salt, a bit of water to loosen it and some lemon myrtle for that extra flavor. That looks sensational. I'm gonna dive in. Mm. I surprise myself sometimes. That is, without swearing, delicious. Yum. This is my baked brim with my lemon myrtle taratur, which is a tahini sauce. Absolutely stunning you'll impress anybody that comes over. Don't forget guys, if you like what you're seeing and you want more, smash that like and subscribe button. Tune in next week, we'll see you there.